And welcome back, guys. This is Gord, and as always, we're playing some FTL. So, uh, in the last episode, if you're watching, we uh, made our way into the final sector, and uh, we're going to dot around a bit, and hopefully we're going to make our way to the base here and uh, defend it against the assault of the Rebel flagship. Now, uh, so you can see we're pretty much fucked for weapons, so this is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky indeed. But um, we're going to dot around, got some hull repair as well as some scrap and, and all that good stuff. And uh, we're going to... Oh, oh, look at that, a store. So we might actually be okay here. Um, we're going to check out this store. And ooh, look at this, emergency repairs. I don't need it. So let's just continue on to the store, see what they have. Um, not really a lot. They do have another missile launcher. Um, that's cool, that's cool. Um, you know what, actually? I think... Hmm, should I upgrade my weapons and use this flak missile? Or should I... I think that's what I'm going to do. I was considering for a moment uh, trading out my flak missiles for another Asteria missile and having two very fast missiles. But uh, I don't think that's going to really help me. So... Really, uh, all I can do is um, stock up for the final encounter here. I'm going to go and get some mind control. Yeah, let's get some mind control. And uh, should I get a backup battery? I'm going to get a backup battery because it's cheap and uh, I might be able to use that for something. So let's jump over here to the Federation base and uh, let's take a look at what we got here. You arrive near the Federation base to find the bulk of their fleet skirmishing with the rebel forces. You hang back near the far side of the moon to avoid the conflict. There's not much you can do to help that battle, and your mission holds the key to turning the tide of the war. You prepare to face the flagship. So, I think we got enough missiles for the final fight, so we're just gonna, we're not gonna produce any more. Um, what we are gonna do is we are gonna upgrade our crew, our, not our crew, sorry, we're gonna upgrade our ship with the rest of the scrap we have. And we're gonna see exactly what we can get here. Now, shields are a must-have. We definitely want more shields. Um, if we're gonna make any use out of this mind control, probably gonna want to max that out too. Um, now we do want our weapon systems upgraded. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna upgrade our weapon systems, as well as uh, yeah, we'll, we'll max out our power bars there and. Uh, our weapon system should be capable of uh, firing all our weapons now. We will... Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll put some points into my control and uh, maybe a couple points into the engine. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Now, uh, to be honest, I still don't think we're ready for this, but uh, we're gonna find out. Certainly gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna need to take our med bay offline as well as... Uh, Hmm. As well as our hacking, so that we can afford all our weapons. So now, if we do decide to use our hacking or our mind control, we are going to have to use our backup battery to do so. Alright, so. Hmm. I can't really think of any better way to prepare ourselves. I think we've done as much as we can do, and we're just going to have to wait for the Rebel Fleet to uh, come to us. All right, so this is gonna this is it right here. We're gonna have to see exactly what we can do here. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Right, let's continue, and right off the bat, they're hacking our med bay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's um. Uh, okay, let's. Let's take one out of our engines so that we can get a full hack here on their shields. And, uh, now we're going to take a lot of missile fire, I think. We don't have cloaking, so there's not a lot we can do here. Um, oh, on pause. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we just uh, dodge some of these shots. Miss, miss, and hit. Alright. That's, uh, Put those fires out. And, uh, let's see where else we got here. 
our shields are ionized, which isn't uh, isn't great. Let's let's see. The shields are just about to come down, and uh, I think what we want to do is we want to disable their missile systems first. Uh, that's the most important thing we can do here. So when they're oh no, the shields are coming back up online. That's not good. Okay. Um, let's get their missiles, and we'll just keep pelting that. I'm gonna actually put auto fire on, and uh, oh. I gotta say, guys, I don't think we were prepared for this fight, but uh, let's see if we get lucky here. All right, we have some more fires. Uh, not a whole lot we can do in that mind control area. Let's hit them with missiles with our flak missiles. Hopefully, that will maybe that's a better shot there. And um, as soon as our hacking comes back online, we can. Oh, that was a big hit. I like that. As soon as our hacking comes back online, which it just did, we're going to drain their shields. And... Alright, their shields are drained, so let's get our whole lasers going after their shields. And, um... Alright, their missiles are taken out now, which is good. I'm actually going to uh, stop this from auto-firing. We are going to... I'm going to stop everything from auto-firing, actually, except for that uh, missile flak. And uh, that fire is not really, I'm not really a fan. We're gonna leave that fire kind of for now. Um, I think our best bet is to continue pelting at their shields. All right, flak missile should do some damage here. Look at that, flak missile, awesome. Just completely, and utterly destroyed them. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In this new state, it will have to get closer to the base to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. Alright, let's do that then. Let's, uh, let's deal with some of the fires on our ship and, uh, get our rock crew members in here. And, uh, oh, that's not even a rock crew member. Look at that. It's, uh, this is our rock crew member. Let's get him focused on these fires in here. Darial, you can uh, help fix up the med bay. And uh, let's get on a second crew member in here. Oh, all right, guys. We are, we're in a, we're not doing too bad. Our shields have held. Um, we haven't taken a huge amount of damage. I think this missile flak is really like worth its weight in gold, actually. Um, it's it's really doing the trick for us. Let's get Steli to stay there in the med bay. Let's get uh, let's get our NG over here to fix that hull breach. Actually, let's get him healed up a little bit first. Uh, actually, Steli, you sorry, you're not fully healed. You can go back there. Oh, it would be nice if I powered the med bay. <laughs> All right, little uh blonde moment there I guess let's um go there and put that guy there I think overall we're doing all right let's actually let's get our NG to fix that hull breach and uh Stilly I thought I freaking healed you oh that's right you're walking through okay alrighty everything's a bit of a mess here <laughs> close those doors and uh all right very nice He's, uh, he's going to finish off fixing the artillery beam. Uh, we'll get Steli fully healed up here as well as uh, Weir. And we should be we should be okay. I'm not I'm not confident in our in our ship. I'll be honest with you, but I'm feeling a little better now that that first wave went by so easily. Again, without cloaking, uh, we're in a bad spot, but. Uh, there's nothing we can do at this point except uh, you know, power through and hope that we can win this. All right, Doral, you get back to the med bay, you heal up a bit, and uh, then we'll get you back to your post and we will jump forward. All right, so I don't even think we're really getting a chance to use this hacking or the mind control. We will give it a shot this next, uh, can we actually upgrade anything? Uh, no, not really. 
I mean, we could, but there's nothing really I want to upgrade. So we'll just continue to let uh, Doral here get healed up. I don't know why power keeps leaving the med bay. We'll get him healed up, and then we will uh, do our best to take out the second phase of the rebel ship. Alright, let's get our oxygen back online. And uh, I think we're as good to go as we're going to be. So make a jump. Alright, the rebel sh flagship is going to go over here next, so we're going to intercept him. And, uh, let's see. You chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate that it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. Alright, so in this phase, guys, we're going to have to, uh, take down their drone control. Um, so that's one of the first things I'm going to get on. Oh, we have an intruder in the sensors bay. I'm gonna get our security officers to take care of that. Um, our drone got shot down. Oh, that's right. Our drone got shot down. Alright, here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna fire a missile and the drone at the same time. And hopefully the drone gets through. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Pu beautiful. Alright. So we're gonna take down their shields. <laughs> Man, this is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. This, this. Oh, okay. Our weapon systems aren't doing so great. So we're gonna send our buddy over here into the weapon systems. They are. Their shields are down, so let's hit them with that. Oh, nice. We hit the, the drone there. Okay. We're not. We're not dead yet. Let's get. Let's get these guys to the med bay. And let's see how else we doing here. Okay, he's got that hull breach fixed up. That's good. We need to put power to the... I don't like to do that. Oh, okay, we'll just put power to the med bay for a second here. It looks like their drone control is about to be taken out completely, so that's going to be nice. Let's hope we can get our weapons charged up. Our artillery beam is just doing an awesome job there. Um, these guys are healed up. Almost. Um, we will get that guy. Well, you know, I don't care about the breach in there. We're good for now. Let's get all power to weapons. Um, we're actually going to disable the med bay for now. These guys are healed enough. And we're gonna hopefully be able to finish them off. I mean, we're just doing an awesome job here. Uh, no. Luckily, only one of those missiles actually hit us. It looks like. It looks like our artillery beam, along with the fires on board their ship, are doing most of the work for us. Look at that, I've never beat this without a cloak, let alone, you know, with crappy weapons and the sad state my ship is in. But uh, I think we're doing good. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to get closer to the base to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. Alright, so do we have anything we can upgrade? Real quick, before we do this, we never actually got a chance to use the mind control. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade that all the way and give that a shot the next time we get into a fight. And uh, we're going to see how this works. We're going to see how this works. We're doing pretty good. I never would have dreamed in a million years that uh, we'd be doing as good as we are right now. But we're not doing terrible. Let's get, uh, let's get everybody healed up. This flak missile, I think, is what's really saving my life, as well as the artillery beam. Like, I really was spending more time focusing on my own ship than I was the enemy ship, and yeah, we still won somehow there. So let's get these guys healed up and then get the oxygen back on because their oxygen is it's down to a bit uh, seventy percent almost. All right, these guys are all healed up. Let's unpower the med bay, power the oxygen, and. Uh, Again, I think we're as good as we're gonna get here. Let's um, let's jump and see what we can do. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it's sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. All right. Several Federation fleet detachments have broken through the lines and come to aid you in your final effort. They have suffered critical losses to get here and will not be able to distract the fleet for long. 
It looks like the Rebels still have an ace up their sleeve. The flagship powers up combat augment. Its internal centers, its internal effector, and manipulators here sensor data. You lose situational awareness entirely. That's not that's not terrible. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit up the backup battery, put that into uh, we're gonna put that into mind control, and uh, actually that's pointless. That's completely and utterly pointless because we can't even see their crew. So we're just gonna power up everything else to the best of our abilities, and uh, with their extra layer of shield there, we're gonna have to. I just have to wait it out and hit them with whatever we can, whenever we can. Alright, let's see. We got uh, some people in here. Let's uh, deal with them. And in the meantime, let's hit them with everything we got. Uh, okay, yeah, this is not good. We don't have enough firepower to take down their shields. Um, it's going to be slow. It's going to be very slow taking down their shields. But we're going to try our best. Alright, right, right, go back there. Alright, there's another volley of missiles headed our way. Alright, they've damaged our weapons. We need to get up there and fix that. Oh, okay. Again, we're not looking the greatest here. Alright, um, let's get K down there in the door control to help fend off that intruder. Uh, our engines are taking a beating. There's not a lot we can do there other than uh, drown out the oxygen in that room. Uh, this isn't looking good, guys. This isn't looking good at all. We have to... don't think we're going to manage here. Steli, you're almost dead. Can you get you out of there before you... Nope, shit, Steli's dead. Rip Steli. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Nope, let's not do anything. And we're destroyed. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Well, you know what, guys? Every, every defeat is a lesson learned. The lesson we learned there is uh, we need better weapons. <laughs> You need to be able to have some laser weapons, basically, that could take down that the giant shield they have. Cloaking would have helped us a lot there. You know, just there's a few things we could have we could have done differently. We did our best though, and I think we did pretty good. Look at this, we did uh, most scrap collected is uh, 2,000 some odd. We had uh, look at that most jump survived 104. Oh, these aren't even <laughs> these aren't even the stats for this session. That's, um, hmm. But at the very least, we did unlock, uh, let's close and go back to the hangar. We did unlock the layout C for that ship, which is, doesn't look too bad. Comes with a light laser, uh, base anti-personnel laser. Um, comes with a crew teleporter, it's very nice. Looks like it um, has a cloning bay instead of uh, med bay. It's interesting, interesting. This is one of the first layout C ships that I've seen that doesn't have a Lannis crew, so that could be interesting as well. And this also starts with a requisition license. This Space Age Letter of Marque authority authorizes you to requisite goods and equipment from civilians. Your crew will accept these acts of piracy that don't involve plain murder. So that's neat. We can be a little bit more of a pirate in our next run then. Well, that's cool. So, I mean, unfortunately, we didn't beat the Rebel flagship, but uh, how many times do you really do that, you know? It's, it's, you gotta have a good run to be ready to do that. So, in the next episode, we'll probably take a stab at this other cruiser, the Frigidate. And, uh, yeah. So, remember, if you like this video, give it a like. If you love it, give it a favorite. And if you want to see more, subscribe. As always, this has been Gord, and you guys take it easy out there.